If you have ever been curious about how to work with a Flick sensor and how to use it with Arduino, you are in the right place. Because in this video, I'll be explaining the most basic and advanced things with the help of three examples. In the first example, I will guide you through the process of reading and displaying Flick sensor data on the serial monitor. This serves as a crucial foundation for understanding how a Flick sensor operates and the type of data it can provide. In the second example, we will create a beginner's level project where we will monitor a sheet and when the sheet is bent to a certain level, a buzzer is turned on. While this is a beginner's level project, you can still apply this idea to more advanced and complex level projects. And in the third example, we will use the Flick sensor to control the angle of a servo motor. The angle of the servo will change according to how the Flick sensor is bent. This idea can also be applied to intermediate and advanced level projects. You can use multiple Flick sensors on a glove to control a robot, a bionic hand or a prosthetic hand and more. I've also developed a human posture monitoring system using the Flick sensor so you can check out that video for more advanced applications. Anyway, by the end of this video, you will not only have a solid understanding of Flick sensors, but also the confidence to use them in your own Arduino projects. So whether you are a beginner or an experienced Arduino enthusiast, there is something here for everyone. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell and give us a thumbs up if you find this video helpful. So without any further delay, let's get started. A flick sensor, also known as a bend sensor, is a type of a sensor designed to detect bending or flexing in a physical structure, such as a flexible material or object. These sensors are primarily designed to measure the degree of bending or curvature in various applications. Flick sensors typically consist of a flexible material with conductive material traces or elements running along their length. When the sensor is bent or flexed, the resistance of these conductive elements changes and this change in resistance is used to determine the degree of bending or flexing. The bend sensor is usually stuck to the surface whose bend is to be monitored. As the surface is bent, the resistance of the bend sensor varies. So we can say that the resistance of the bend sensor is directly proportional to the amount of bend. Flick sensors are also used for the precise angle measurements. A flex sensor is just like an ordinary resistor. The only difference is in the construction. So we can call this flex sensor or bend sensor as the flexible potentiometer. A flex sensor typically consists of a flexible substrate often made of materials like polyester or similar polymers with conductive elements or traces applied onto their surface. These conductive elements are typically composed of materials with specific electrical properties that exhibit predictable changes in resistance as the sensor is bent. A flick sensor mainly consists of four main parts, the two contacts having no polarity, segmented contactor, conductive ink, and phenolic resin substrate. When the flick sensor is subjected to mechanical stress such as bending or curving, the arrangement of these conductive elements is altered. This in turn causes a change in the electrical resistance along the sensor's length. The degree of bending or flexing directly correlates with the magnitude of the resistance change and this change in resistance can be measured and interpreted electronically. And this is what I'm going to practically explain. So let's go ahead and start with our first example. In order to use it with the Arduino, I have connected a 10 kilo ohm resistor in series. As I explained earlier, the two contacts have no polarity, so you can connect this 10 kilo ohm resistor on either side. I have connected the other contact of the flex sensor to the Arduino 5 volt and the other leg of the 10 kilo ohm resistor to the Arduino ground. Now, this makes a voltage divider circuit. And as you know, in a voltage divider circuit, the output voltage changes as we change the resistance of any of the components. In this case, the 10 kilo ohm resistor is a fixed resistor and its resistance can't be changed. But since a flex sensor is a non-linear flexible resistor which can be used as a flexible potentiometer, so by bending this sensor we can change the resistance and this way we would be able to generate different voltages. 
now to read this change in voltage we can connect a wire from the middle of this voltage divider circuit to the arduino analog pin a0 for the connections you can follow this circuit diagram now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming i started off by defining the arduino analog pin a0 then in the white setup function i activated the serial communication 9600 is the baud rate then using the pin mode function i set the flex sensor is the input in the wide loop function that runs repeatedly, we simply read the flex sensor using the analog read function and store the value in variable value. And then finally, we print the sensor value on the serial monitor. I have already uploaded this program and now let's watch the flex sensor in action. A white shop bins as it will completely damage the flick sensor and then you won't be able to get the correct values. So as far as possible, smoothly bend the sensor. Now let's move on to the next example. In this second example, I'm going to attach the flick sensor to this wooden sheet. If you prefer, you can also attach it to a metal sheet or on the surface of any flexible object. Anyway, first I'm going to solder two wires so that I can easily use it. While soldering the wires, make sure not to apply too much heat because this might easily damage the flex sensor. The two wires are soldered and now let's attach the flex sensor. The flex sensor has been attached and you might be thinking, what's the advantage of this setup? Well, as you know, this wooden sheet can bend up to a certain limit. If we cross that limit, the sheet will break. So I want that when the wooden sheet bends beyond a certain limit, the buzzer should turn on to prevent us from bending it further. The voltage divider circuit remains exactly the same. This time round, I'm also going to use a 5 volt buzzer. And as you can see, my Arduino development board already has a buzzer which is connected to the Arduino digital pin D8. For the connections, you can follow this circuit diagram. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. I simply modified the previous code. I defined a pin for the buzzer and in the white setup function, I set the buzzer as output. In the loop function, I added an if condition that turns on the buzzer when the sheet bending crosses a certain limit. I have already uploaded this program and now let's watch the sheet bending monitoring system in action. You can also use this for dense monitoring in cars in security systems and so on. Now let's move on to the next example. In this third example, I'm going to control a servo motor using this flex sensor. The voltage divider circuit remains exactly the same. The servo motor voltage and ground wires are connected to the 5 volt and 3 amps power supply and the signal wire is connected to the Arduino pin 11. You can follow this circuit diagram. The VN and ground wire should be connected to an external 5 volt power supply if in case you are using a large servo motor. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. Again, I modified the previous code. This time you can see I have also added a library for the servo and the servo is connected to the Arduino pin 11. In the loop function, I map the values to control the servo motor angle between zero and 180 degrees. I've already uploaded this program and now let's watch the flick sensor and servo in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.